this is uh, printing some chain links, which you'll see will support this and make it look a little nicer and cooler. And it will support some of the stuff back here instead of just this loose stuff just laying around. It can make it tangled in between. It's going to hold it like nice and tight. You'll see it when it's all done. So this is uh, the printer when it gets done, it throws the plate out this way toward you. And this is magnet. This is magnetic right here, this plate. The plate is just kind of soft. And you want to take it off, literally they're just going to pop off. Yeah, it's that easy. It's like, where's this been, right? Don't you wish you had this? And, and if it's like really difficult, you can kind of like, kind of bend the plate a little bit and get it off. But I mean, they pretty much just kind of, they just pry off. I'll show you what these are later because I actually don't even know how they go together. I'm going to have to kind of play with them a little bit. This is that chain link thing I was talking about yesterday. But that's how easy it is. And then this stuff comes right off. It peels right off like tape. So um, that's how easy it is. And I wish all my printers were this easy. You just throw the plate right back on there and you're back in business. Cool stuff. Well, look at that. It's done some more. That's the rest of those chain links, by the way. And I just peel this little mat up. There they are stuck. And I just peel away. They just pop right off. Like really easy. Just big handfuls of them. And this was a lot on one sheet. This one took six hours to print. But that's not bad for all that stuff anyway. That's a lot of stuff. So this is pretty cool. And I'm going to work on these and then you'll see what it looks like in a second. Check this out. This is it. It's all done. It's a some type of chain thing. It has covers for this side, so you just kind of lay the wire in here, and then you pop little covers, little tiny things like this. You pop these over there to help hold the wire in place. And when the wire is needs to be tugged, as you can see, this thing moves pretty smooth. The wire needs to be tugged. It's protected in this thing here and organized, and it doesn't move left and right because this thing's kind of rigid and should move pretty smoothly. I've been wearing it out trying to make it a little smoother. It's not really hard, but that's pretty cool that this thing 3D printed that, all those little pieces. You saw that little tray full of them and uh, my little time-lapse video of me making it, I think it was only like two minutes or three minutes, so it was really fast. It wasn't that long. So pretty cool. And the next thing I'll do is I'll put this on the 3D printer and see how it looks in motion. Uh, so today's video is not that long. This is pretty much it, except I want to answer, I guess, a couple questions. One, I just answered the height question from fifth period. First period, does it need supports? Um, yeah, it does. I mean, well, it depends on the part. So far, I haven't printed anything that needed supports, so I haven't had to remove any. But you can always print supports. There's going to be an option in the slicing software uh, where it asks for supports. I haven't even tried to do that yet because everything looks like it doesn't need it so far. But I'm sure soon enough I'll need something that does have supports and then we'll see how well they come off because that's actually a good question and then that was in first period and then fourth part i have other questions too i just kind of do like a few one other one is uh quality works better but oh yeah actually i don't even know what's this question they said the the quality works better in fourth period so it look like it looks better um the parts like this thing right here remember so that thing looks pretty good but the printer looks kind of not good i guess so it's not enclosed um and uh, and I'll talk about that later, like why it's not enclosed and stuff. And I'll talk about different parts of plastics tomorrow. Um, but uh, today, that's it. I just want to let you know that the extra credit for commenting um, is only applies for about 24 hours. What I don't want to do is like be on day eight and then have to like go back all the way to day one and give people credit. So what I'm doing is just this, this extra credit. If you watched it within the 24 hours of me posting it, uh, and then you comment something, whether it's a private comment or you just send me a message or something. Um, I'll give you extra credit for that. And um, I, I think that's it for now. And uh, tomorrow, oh, here's the thing. If you want a comment, add this comment. Add a comment of something you would like to see 3D printed. Um, if you just want to comment what it is you want to get 3D printed, or maybe you can even send a link from Thingiverse, or if you drew something um, in Inventor or 
Fusion 360 and you want to see it 3D printed, or maybe you went on Tinkercad and want to get it printed, uh, send me the file. And maybe I'll print them. Um, uh, and then, I don't know, mail it to your house. I don't know. So, all right. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.